Even before the Ukraine-Russia conflict, agricultural markets were always in strong demand. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations continues to monitor agricultural food prices. Overall, prices are up about 55%. Sales for this company are soaring, with recent quarters showing about over 79% growth. While labor and input costs are on the rise for the company, it manages to deliver an operating margin of over 17%. Lots of ongoing cash flow supports its credit, which is already good with modest debt compared to its assets, and it pays a dividend of 2%. The stock is currently trading at 73.70. And when you look at their financials, you can see that they have a nice balance sheet. They did miss earnings in EPS and revenue quarter three of 2022 and is scheduled to have a quarter four result on the February 16th of 2023. The next stock we're going to talk about is Northern Oil and Gas, trading under ticker NOG. It's currently based in Minnesota. It's an oil and gas exploration production company. It is structured as a working interest investment company, which means that it is partner with operating companies that provides royalties from well drilling, development, and production with liabilities to fund all of the will. Northern Oil right now is currently trading at 31.73. It's only up 4.72% all time. It does pay a nice dividend of 3.78%. The PE ratio is 3.53. And let's look at their balance sheet, their financials for the quarterly finance. September 2022, look at their financials. They're all green, they're all up. Net change in cash is up 7.66 million. They beat earnings last quarter, Q3 of 2022, and they beat revenue by a good amount, 26.9%. And guess what? Another company from Minnesota, Clearfield Inc., CLFD, a telecommunication equipment company. Clearfield focuses on making and providing fiber optic cable components that make cable actually work. Other companies that make cable, but Clearfield makes the connectors and processors and other bits to make it more all work broadband and other communication companies to actually make fiber work for moving voices and data around the globe. And of course, data centers and cloud computing companies are absolutely required fiber and related equipments to operate. So this company plays a major role into 5G, fiber, and all this other stuff that are gonna happen slowly. And as a, companies are looking to integrate all these different items, products that they need, Clearfield comes into play. And this is all driving revenues like through the roof for this company. It's continued to see rising revenues over the past many quarters, including the most recent quarter where it gained 89%. The company maintains cost controls to generate operating margins, running at nearly 18%, and in turn it delivers a return to its shareholders' equity of over 27%. Though this company does not pay dividends, the stock generates the gains to make up for it. Now, currently it's trading at $99. If you look at the all time, it's up 6,504%. Imagine if you would have got in early at the $1.50. This could have been you. The PE ratio is 27.91. Though it is a little high, the market cap is 1.51 billion. Over the last year, it's up 41%. Let's look at their financials. And as you can see, their financials are amazing. Re everything is green. 2.46 million net change in cash. Q3 
quarter four of 2022, they beat EPS by 45.24%. They beat revenue by 33%. The next stock on the list is GSL, Global Ship Lease. I currently own this stock in my portfolio and I'm looking to add on my position because it does have amazing benefits and it's undervalued right now. It is a London-based, England-based container shipping company. It leases out and it ships to primary shipping operators as well as on charters for near-term contracts. The rub, of course, in the port delays in some of the U.S. Western facilities, but this is where global lease, global ship lease comes into play and has its advantages, as many of its ships are smaller in size, allowing operators to access alternative ports with less congestion. Revenue gains have been surging over the past three quarters, with the most recent quarter showing a gain of 119%. Given the structure of the company, it is very efficient in its operatings as leasing and chartering company with less cost pressures including from labor the results in operating margins of a whopping 53 percent it is leveraged with limited cash on hand debts running at over 53 percent of assets but the business model continues to work and it even pays a nice dividends of it pays a nice dividends of 8.86 percent the pe ratio is really low it's 2.27 the market cap for is 614.49 million. When you look at the one year chart, it is down 19%. When you look at the five year chart, it's up 79%. The max chart, it's down 70%. Let's look at their financials. When you look at their financials, they look pretty good. Though the net change in cash is alarming, down $54 million, but they are beating earnings with EPS by 26.84%. Correction, 26.82%. Revenue, they beat it by 17.04%. And the last stock we're going to talk about today is Mosaic. Trading undertaker MOS, currently trading at 45.36. It does have a market cap of 15.44 billion. The PE ratio is low, it's 4.43. Dividend yield is 1.32%. This company is based in Tampa, Florida, and it mines phosphate. It collects different things for fertilizer and through various international distribution networks. It is the largest US producer of Potash and phosphate fertilizer. With crop prices soaring, farmers have all the more financial and other in incentives to spend more on crops to get more profits. Revenue has been consistently rising over the trailing five reported quarters, the most recent showing a 56%. Cost pressures but manages to achieve a healthy operating margin of 20%. With good cash flows, limited debts compared to assets, a modest dividends, the stock is faring well in the market right now. It might be a good opportunity. Who knows? Only the future can tell. Now when you look at their financials, everything is green. The net change in cash is alarming, a negative 134.9 million, which is up 76%. It did miss EPS and revenue in Q3 of 2022. 